Welcome to Delcam Crispin Shoemaker Pro 2014 R2 Watts New Sessions and in this session we're going to look at the new heel editors, midsole editor and insole editor to give different appearance to the model. If I go into the sole mode, to my flyout, I can select the ladies high heel sole with pointed heel. Sole and heel has been applied as default, so to edit these values we double left click on the heel, we get the heel editor up. As you can see it's very similar to as you've seen before, we can take values away, for example remove the curvature at the top of the heel breast, move the position of the heel backwards and forwards, so on. We can go into the top piece, again alter values, so for example make it narrower at the top piece and we can also alter values such as the top piece thickness. So these are values that you've seen and changed before. The changes have been made into the side curvature. What we have is the ability to change the side curvature and combined. So we're moving backwards and forwards but we're also moving inside and out. So if I set this value say minus 16 we can pull it very far in. What we can do now is unlock the difference between moving the heel breast laterally to the radial position. So if I unlock I can now can cha change this value separate to this curve itself. As you can see I'm going to go back to this top piece editor and just change another position. Now what we can also do in the side curve editor is actually lock positions out. So we can make the position be straight from the pivot point. So if I move the pivot points up and down and then lock it out, lock out the front position, we're changing the curvature. Let's move the back curve out a bit, give our hill more volume, more body. We can also lock the back curve as well and make straight below the pivot point. What we also have is the functionality to move the, the middle of the heel, or we can have that locked together so they move together. And finally at the bottom we can move and add curvature so that it blends from being a knock-on heel to a kind of Louis heel. So if I activate this we add automatic curvature and blend the heel to the sole unit. Same can be done at the back and again sliders can be changed to adjust the, the amount of curvature. So I've edited my heel. We can also edit the sole unit. So I'm going to accept these changes and I'm going to double left click and here we have positions on the sole unit where we can define the actual thickness of the sole unit at the heel and toe. Now this is very similar to before but before we only had the positions of heel and toe. Here we can now add positions by going into the positive sign and clicking on the sole in different positions. We now have four positions, the heel, the toe and two mid positions. So we can change these values and what we can do is we can go and alter the thickness at one position. So for example let's make the thickness at the heel down to two. Let's make the position at the toe, the toe position say for example 20 the in-between positions at 3 I'm going to make it a distance of or thickness of 8 
am I happy with this position? I can alter the distance between the back of the heel and where this position sits by changing this value here. So for example, I change it to 77. You will see these positions move accordingly. The final position, I'm happy where its placing is and the thickness, I'm going to make 25. I can also control the lateral distance from the last, so how wide the sole unit is in certain positions. So I can add points along the line and these are the white points. So if I go into the add here, I can add points and control how thick it comes out from the side of the last by moving the radio buttons. To delete, I just choose which item I wish to delete and press the negative button. When I'm happy, I can press OK and make these changes. As you can see, I've made a kind of external platform. A little bit of editing, I can smooth out this point and control the balance. As you can see also that the heel grows with it so that it's the right length for the platform shoe. If I go back into here, I can remove these points. So I'm going to just delete point 2 and point 3 and I'm going to set the toe back to a sensible value, say 3 and accept the changes. So we got back to our thin line sole again. What we can do is we can turn the view of the last off and click on the insole. We get a very similar editor, this time controlling points 1 to 2, but we can also add points. So I'm going to add a point here and a point at the base, for example. and I'm going to edit these points. So at the heel I've got um, I'm happy with the position and the thickness. At the toe I want my thickness to be say 8 and in my intermediary points I'm going to have a point 3 I'm going to make it 4 so that my my inner platform now that I'm creating will blend and at this position here I'm going to change this to say 10 and maybe move this forward to say 115. We also have this option for skewed edges. So the skewed edges is like a chamfer coming in from the side. At the moment it's active. But I'm going to turn it off to make my sides of my insole parallel to the base of the last. And I accept the changes. As you can see, we've now made an inside platform. So using these tools, we can change the appearance of the shoe dramatically. We've got the new control over the heel, the blend into the Louis. We've got the ability to raise the inside insole to give an inner platform or the midsole to give an outside platform on the model. Thank you for joining me listening to these new features of Shoemaker Pro 2014 R2. I hope you join me in the future for more What's New.